Hey guys, so I'm literally on the floor. I'm filming this so late at, in the day. It's like almost 11, so I do have to be a little teensy wincy quiet because my aunt lives downstairs. But today I have a Shop Miss A haul. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Shop Miss A, but it's like, um, they kind of promote themselves as a dollar store, an online dollar store, like a beauty kind of thing. It's like a beauty lifestyle website. I do remember like a couple years ago when this when this first blew up, like a Miss A, when that first blew up. And I think it blew up or like it got really popular because of their beauty blenders. Like it was like a dupe or something for the for the original ones that came out. But they were saying how it was like really soft and all. But I really wanted to try it out. And I did get a huge package. So I did get quite a couple things. Um, I got some new makeup. I got some, um, you know what? Let's just get into it. So this is how it comes packaged, guys. It comes, what is? So it comes packaged in like this really thick, like it's almost like bubble wrap, but like XL. But yeah, it comes packaged so nicely, so your stuff will not break whatsoever. I want to say one of their one of the reasons they got really popular was because of their beauty blenders. So I did pick up a couple, and the first one I got is this Mochi Peach Beauty Blender. So this says it was two dollars. I don't remember if I actually if I if I used like a discount count or something. That's why I bought off there. But I do get emails, and sometimes their website will go on sale for like ten percent off or something. Something small like that because, again, they're already really cheap. This one's their, um, their more ex expensive beauty blender. I did get others, but this is what it looks like. It's so soft. Honestly, sometimes when you get beauty blenders and they're dry and they do not squish enough, like, I just know, like, even if you wet it, it won't, like, get super soft. But this one feels like it should. Oh my god, it's so cute. I don't even want to dirty it. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I got was these um, soap hand sheets. So like, I want to just keep these in my bag. Because sometimes, you know, when you go to a place and they don't have soap, like, that that irritates me so bad. This is what it looks like. Let's see how thin these are. Ooh, it looks like those Tic Tacs, like the mouth ones that you put in there. Don't put this in your mouth. This is soap, guys. All right, next off, I got this hair tamer finishing wand so i have a lot of flyaways on the top of my hair well honestly like all over my hair i honestly really can't tell if it's from like hair damage or if it's like split ends i always try to look up what split ends look like but it i don't know like i want to say it's from damage to my hair because i used to bleach my hair so much and dye it crazy colors but i, I want i haven't touched it like with hair dye or bleach in like two or three years honestly i haven't done it in a while so i still don't know why i have so much it honestly looks like damaged like hair that just fell out so i did get this it says made for all hair types a softly scented gel like hair tamer to stop frizz plus add all day hold i did go on timu though and i did buy that um well I didn't buy the exact one, I bought like a dupe of the bed hair tamer thing. It's like the circular one that you just like slide down. This one was $1.88. When I mean like everything's like a dollar and a few change, I mean like that. Like it's like a dollar eighty-eight or something. That's what the brush looks like. Okay, so I did put some right here and it did like put it down. I don't know if it's gonna dry like the way gel dries you know how like it hardens hardens up a little bit but that's that i also did get some makeup wipe removers because actually like i said before i think i said this in another video when i got my forever 21 makeup removers i don't wear i don't use these on my face i mean sometimes i'll use them if i like want to take off like um some like little spots that i want to just get rid of but I'm mostly going to use this to like clean my table or like clean brushes or anything like that. So I just got this. This one doesn't say the price. I thought they all said the prices on them, but I guess not. All right, next up, I did get another tweezer. I got, it's the Precise Slant Tweezer. 
This one was a dollar exact. Let's see how thin these are. I prefer my tweezers to be super duper thin so I can actually grab onto the hairs. It's honestly, it's on the thicker side, not gonna lie, but I guess it'll do its job. I already, <laughs> I already tweeze my eyebrows. I always do my eyebrows every time I do my makeup because I always conceal my eyebrows, as you guys know. So I, if there's hair, I can't put concealer over it. So I have to do my eyebrows every time I do my makeup. Okay, so next off, I got the Papa Wonder Blender. It says it's a latex-free, high-definition cosmetic sponge designed for easy applying and blending. This one is actually part of the ones that say like pop on them are parts of part of proceeds will go towards protecting animals against abuse, which I think is really amazing. Like that's so sweet. This is what it looks like. This got a little um. I left it in the package for too long because I, I've had this package for a while just like haven't been I opened some stuff but I didn't take it out of the package completely so this is what this looks like I'm pretty sure I want to say it was like these that were trending so yeah these are different this one's way bigger and square let me see actually they're the same they're about the same okay next off I got this washable and reusable lint roller I've never like tried anything out like this. I'm not sure <laughs> if this will actually work or not. So yeah, this uh, it says the super sticky lint roller is reusable plus washable, and you just wet it and lather it with soap, rinse, and air dry. I love this color. This would be like a cute like wall color, right? <laughs> but yeah, let's see. I actually don't have that much hair on me right now, so cool cool will it stick to this oh it doesn't actually it's like there's space so it doesn't stick completely i have to see i have to test this out and see if it really works and if it does come up with a wash hopefully it do so next off i got these pure pure cotton rounds they're non-irritating perfect for sensitive skin i love how everything is packaged so nicely like for like everything they sell for a dollar it's like really nice it's nice it's i can already see like um flyaways coming off so probably when you like apply this on your face if you like want to use skincare it's, you'll see like little stuff on there so i got another mochi blender i think they're the same i think i just got two of them super cute like i just want to eat it like Maybe I'll get mochi tomorrow. I've been thinking about mochi for a while now. I don't know. I saw it on a cooking channel when I was at work. And he made like peanut butter mochi. With like sesame seeds around it. And it, it looks so good. I've been thinking about it ever since. Next off, I did get this buff brush plus scoop. I think you guys, if you guys know what this is a dupe for, then you guys know. I actually already have two of the original elf ones that look exactly like this. And the, the one for the elf, it's actually designed to use to scoop out the putty primer and then use it to blend out. But I actually use it for my bronzer, my cream bronzer, and I use the elf one. And I like the way it applies with the brush. So I got another one. I didn't get another elf one, but I did get this one. It's really nice. It's honestly like the same material. It's like literally the same thing. Do you like to use it? I like that. And just apply my bronzer. Next off, I did get this, um, it looks like a pencil case or something i don't know but it's there's a bunch of brushes in here to do it's like an eye kit brush thing i believe this was around ten dollars but honestly um it's on the more expensive side of the website but this is like really good like um a really good case like really nice material really thick and sturdy and then it came with all these brushes yeah, this is definitely for the eyes. They had other brushes, but I really wanted something for the eyes. Super, super soft, guys. Let's see. 
Okay, so I did get another mochi blender, but this one is in a different shape. It's in like this slanted. I did get this, um... Oh, this one? This one feels a little bit more hard than the other ones. I guess because bigger shape, more product. I don't know. I'm, literally, my makeup came off. What the heck? Okay, this I'm really excited to use. Another paw paw thing, you know. You know, we're saving those animals. Okay, this is a heart-shaped silicone makeup brush. It's a cleaning mat with suction cups. So you can just, um, like, slap this on your sink and clean your brushes like that. I will say, this kind of isn't raised that much so i don't know if it'll really help clean your brushes but i do have another um makeup another matte thing like this but the thing is it's like a circular bowl and i don't like that it's a bowl and i had to get water in there and stuff so i, I prefer this kind of like flat in the sink kind of thing okay so here is another soap sheet i got this one is actually rose scented i wonder if i can smell it <laughs> Let me see. Oh my god. That's strong. Let me smell this one. I didn't even smell this one. Oh well. Well, green tea doesn't really have that much of a smell to it compared to rose, but here is another makeup remover I got. I actually this one I got in just in case I want to use on my face because I this one's unscented and then the other one I got was like, oh, it's mango one, so I'm like it if it's obviously we know that we shouldn't put scented things on our face like it's not good especially if you have sensitive skin so i did get the unscented one just in case i do actually get lazy one day and want to use it on my face but normally i would just double cleanse at night or something all right so next i got a perfect eye makeup like tape thing so this is for your eyes like just like the picture is showing when i was younger i used to just straight up put tape on my face and honestly i don't think that's good for you like tugging putting like strong tape down here and then ripping it off and like tugging at your skin so hopefully this is like way better it's three sheets four i think actually and this is kind of like a nice like it's like soft almost all right so then i got these um little container things like these crate things this is a size medium i think it came in a medium and a large and i honestly should have gotten a large because this is so freaking tiny but like i don't know like this picture honestly i think i was looking at like these pictures and i was like that looks like big enough but this is so tiny like I don't know i should have gotten a large and i did get that in two freaking colors i got it in this pink color and then i also got it in this like cute what is it mint green okay guys so next off i got this brow gel i actually got two of these i'm gonna show you the one that i actually opened so i got two of these in the color dark brown i'm pretty sure they're all they're both dark brown these are, I think these are the same thing. They both say dark brown, but they're actually have different packaging. One says, um, sexy brow gel. And then the other one is like towards the Paw Paw collection. Oh wait, I'm so stupid. <laughs> they're the same thing. I was just showing the back of the, the back versus the front. Okay, yeah, cause yeah. This, I will say it was very pigmented. Like I loved how it, um, Obviously, my eyebrows aren't actually this filled in. They're pretty, I have like pretty sparse areas at the end. So this filled it in quite nice. But if you look at my eyebrow compared to the spoolie um, size, you can see that the spoolie is way bigger. It's way bigger than I, I expected. So whenever I put this on, I do get a lot of product down here that I have to wipe off and up here. But other than that, I really do like this. And it did stay on. I wore it to I wore it to work and you know it stayed on all day. So I really like that. Okay, so <laughs> I got another freaking um soap thing. I have to like keep one in my car or something. I didn't realize I got so many. But this one is actually peach scented. I don't smell this one at all. Honestly, the only the only one that smelled really strong was the rose one, but I feel like anything rose flavored, like you can smell really strong here's just another makeup remover wipe thing that i got i i oh wait no i was gonna say this one's unscented but this one's rosemary scented i don't even know what rosemary smells like but so 
This is a pack of the Mochi Blenders. The Mochi Blender is a latex-free, high-definition cosmetic sponge designed for easy applying and blending. I have to wet one and see how like squishy it gets, but that's what I got. Then I just got two more of these cotton things because I go through them like crazy. Okay, this is really cool. So I actually got this freckle marker thing um if you guys notice i tend to draw on these like little beauty marks and i do use my nyx the nyx epic ink liner in a brown color but for some reason it tends to like um like the ink will just pool at the tip and then just create a big bubble and it's really annoying so i got this oh my god this literally looks like a marker what the heck let's see It's cute. I like it. It's definitely like pigmented because it actually came on when I put it on. All right. So next off, I did get this eyeshadow primer in, um, no, not in. I actually think this only came in like three colors or something. So this one is in the color natural and I did try it on and it actually, I didn't try it on with this makeup, but I did try it on when I got this package and there was like pigment like pigment on there i do tend to put concealer on my eyelids because my eyelids are like discolored almost this actually did cover up like it honestly came on like a concealer and i'm like i feel like i'm saying like too much i just i give up <laughs> it works i just want to say it works but okay guys so lately i've really been into like matte lipsticks honestly Whenever I buy a new lipstick, I always get it colored. I never look into like really natural beige tones or like new tones. So I wanted to try um, some lipsticks I saw on the AOA um, website and I did get a couple. The first one is in the color Swoon. Looks like a bullet or something. <laughs> um, let me see. That's how that looks like. Then this one is in the color Cuddles. I don't know if these are mattes. I think these are the lipsticks I got. Yeah, these are definitely not the matte ones I got because these have kind of like a gloss to them. I don't know if that was a really bad swatch. These, um, these are the Magical Girl matte lipsticks these i fell in love with i know the colors look really similar but first off we have this um it's honestly coming off a little bit more reddish on camera but it's oh my god it's so gorgeous oh my god like hold up let me i changed the lighting color i don't know if that helps but that's what that looks like oh Sorry, I didn't know that was like turned like that. Then there's this one. That one looks crazy. Honestly, that one came out a little bit more pinkier than I than I saw on the website. That was in the color Tuski. And then the first one I showed was in the color Tamika Tamika. And then this one is in the color U. Y U E. That's what that looks like. Let's see, should I try one on? I'm gonna try this one on for you guys. So this is the color Cuddles. I feel like this would be really cute with some like lip liner. So actually this color, I remember, I didn't like how this color just looked on my lips. I thought it was way too pink. So I did put, um, that very basic um like lip combo that everyone does i did put this pink color in the center and then a dark brown lipstick and then the nyx butter gloss and like this cute pink color and it looked really really cute it was so gorgeous so yeah they might look crazy by themselves like this but honestly you can make them work like seriously okay and then the last thing i got is so i actually got a purple lipstick Honestly, I only got it for fun because in my head I was thinking like if I never try on purple lipstick lipstick Then I'll never know if it looks good on me. So like I was like in my head I was like just buy it like you you'll never know like this could be your color and If you didn't buy it, then you never know. So I did buy it. I tried it on and I look like a fucking clown. So 
don't take my advice let me actually try it on for you guys because <laughs> it is actually ridiculous the way this looks this is the wonder lipstick and um oh sorry i'm like getting <laughs> makeup all over this the like line that i got this from uh, was like all like mainly purple shades so all right let's see i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna look fucking crazy <laughs> i did not like okay so first of all i don't know if i should have moisturized my lips before putting this on but this one comes on really patchy like okay so this is what that looks like um yeah no nah. i'm just probably gonna throw out this lipstick because i honestly just think it's like um the quality of the lipstick is just like not even that good either way like it just comes off but that is everything for my haul thank you guys so much for watching peace guys